I say eye steering. So, you know, what kind of role does under canopy lights play in crop steering and activating? That's a cool one. Uh, just yesterday, I uh, was helping a guy. And just so we were talking, like, we have safe SOPs. And so I started to tell him, I was like, okay, yeah, so uh, we use our UCL3 in the very beginning of flower and pump out the blues and the UV to reduce the stretch. Uh, and then he was like, oh, well, actually, my plants are a little too short right now. And I was like, well, do the exact opposite. Let's put up the reds, the infrared, uh -huh. and you're going to level your canopy right out. Um, and he, we even were talking about it in veg, my too. He was like, favorito. if you use the under canopy in veg, with the UCL3 being able to play with the blues and the reds, you can literally keep your strains at an even canopy, of even though they don't yes. want to stay naturally. Yep. So you can, you can actually steer them and that so way. To, so do PPFD? Hey, go ahead. My bad, but this is the coolest thing about that is like not only are you able to now dial in your reds and blues for your strains and control the stretch, not only in either in veg from your top light or under canopy uh, <clears throat> or under canopy as we're going into flower um, in the first three weeks, but the coolest thing about it is being able to now know and track my lights for my strains and my benches and load them accordingly, mm -hmm. right? And so, like, that's where all this data tracking is, like, going to be super important is you're going to be able to track, like, which one's, like, these light ratios next. Because right now, we don't feed all of our plants the same uh, irrigation strategy, so why the fuck are we feeding and we're them not the same light? And we're not giving the same PPFD at the top of the plant as, the, as we are at the bottom of the plant, too. Like, how do you think that the PPFD levels from inner canopy to top canopy to middle canopy affects... It's not just PPFD, it's spectrum as well, because like it's it'll fall off. Let's say the bottom of your plant is like 300 PPFD and the top is, let's say, anywhere from a thousand to, let's say, 1150, 1200. Right. The bottom's anywhere from three to four hundred. But that's not the main thing is the real question is, what's the quality of that spectrum? Mm. It's mostly just a long wavelengths, like I'm always saying, you know, um, so that's why I truly believe with HPS. Um, you know, that has a lot of those long wavelengths is I would actually supplement with the short to mid wavelengths. Yeah. Um, 